Hey, this is Mike, and I want to welcome you to this overview of TabSite. We're excited about uh, the features and tools to help you build engagement and capture leads and grow sales with our apps. So you've probably known that uh, TabSite started out as a Facebook app, and uh, we continue to offer Facebook support, but now we offer web and mobile as well. So basically, you can use any of our apps such as a photo contest app, and you can run that contest on your website, your blog. Uh, we have mobile-friendly options with that, and also you can continue to use it on Facebook on the tab apps. You can run that. You can run across all of them, uh, or you can do just one of those. So a lot of flexibility there. When you come to our page, you'll see a groupings of the different apps. You can take a look at the different types of contest apps, such as the photo, the um, Sweepstakes Plus, video, uh, Instagram photo, Instagram video, and you know an essay, another sweepstakes. Uh, we have all kinds of different contests. The timeline contest is for Facebook news feed. Then, if you're interested in coupons, you can take a look at the coupon apps, and uh, you know any of these uh, will take you to the page with more details on that. So, if I clicked on the coupon, I can go and uh, learn more about that one, and that will bring up the uh, coupon app where I can uh, go through the details there, learn a little bit more about it, and purchase that app, all right? So that gives you the ideas. There's key features about it, what you can do, how, basically how it works, those types of things. Then um, you want to select on the home page. Let me just back up a second. You know, you want to go through, you can learn about our different types of promotion apps. So, so why would you use the TabSite app? The, the reason you would use it is because, uh, think of a sales funnel, uh, particularly with social media, you need to attract people. You need to uh, build engagement. You need to drive them to you, whether it's on Facebook or your website, wherever it is, all of the above. And you want to find ways to bring them to you and engage with them. And this engagement's important on Facebook because they won't see your posts unless uh, there's been some engagement. So promotions and attraction help you do that. All right? So that's why. So it's, uh, it's much easier to capture a lead from someone by offering them a, a chance to um, win a, you know, something that you offer a, in a sweepstakes, randomly going to select one winner out of all entries uh, to do this, something's related to that and uh, be added to our email list for future offers, that's a simple way to go about it than to say, hey, join our email list. That's boring, okay? So that's why we do these things. This is how you can make it work. Uh, we offer options for single app purchases, uh, for small agencies, for enterprise options. So again, you can read about any of the apps, either by you know the type, premium, and standard. And now again, just to say that if you buy any premium app, you can... For example, a photo contest app, you can run a photo contest, and you can also use the standard and free apps. We give you all of those included free with any paid plans. So that's uh, one of the benefits we offer you. So you can, if you want a photo contest, we give you that photo contest. We also give you other options as well. Here's our pricing plan, and uh, you can buy a single app for $29.95 a month. You can buy the five app plan which allows you to deploy up to, to five apps for 59 or the unlimited for 79 all right? And then we also do have the small agency plan for social media consultants, uh, web designers, marketing agencies, digital agencies, and we have a larger enterprise plan for those doing a higher volume. And the keys with the agency and enterprise plans are that uh, say you wanted to run one contest with uh, four, four different partners. So you wanted to run it on their four Facebook pages and four website domains and run the, the, the exact same contest, one contest on all those deployed areas. The, um, the, you know, these other plans, the more advanced, the small agency and enterprise plans allow you to do that. We have some great case studies down below here of uh, what happens when you use our apps. This was a contest in Florida and another one about an insurance agency in Ohio. Uh, again, these are examples of ways that uh, many people are seeing value in using our apps to grow their community and uh, grow uh, their attraction and their lead capture. So let's dive into the back end, into the manager. When you sign up, 
you would enter your name, your email address, your password, and you can try now. 14-day free trial right away if you want. You can, you can select that or you can purchase right away. Then um, you come to the back end manager. And as a new user, the first place you're going to be dropped off to is add an app. This is like the public side, so you can take a look at what app do I want to add. And uh, you can look at those by the type, contest coupons, etc. Or you can look at those by um, the pricing level. So if you bought a premium app, you know, you can take a look at those. Any apps that you have saved are in the My App area. All right. So these are apps that I've created. Once I've created one and saved it, they're all here few things about it. it tells me what app it is it uh, um, tells me when it was created so I can help sort by those and I can also change the name of that so if I want to say Instagram app for Mike's website because that's where I've deployed it I can do that and it'll give me that information there so that just helps me and then I'll, again when I create one, it's going to go in the top left once it's created, but I can rearrange these. Say I want to move this uh, drag and build one down. I can definitely do that. The other size up. If I want to bring a uh, another specific one you know, up, I can just move these around, and they will do that. So this is the My Apps area. Now, a couple things about these. So this is the yellow buttons where I want to click if I want to go in and set up or edit the app once it's created. And the publish is, uh, you know, obviously to publish it live, to make your content live. The manage has a number of key functions in it. The smart URL, and the smart URL is important because this is how, particularly on Facebook, that mobile users have access to view the tab. Facebook still does not give mobile users native access to apps. So if you're on a mobile device, uh, what you saw on the desktop with their tab apps, the you know, the 111 by 74 images, those people cannot natively access those on a mobile device, but we give you a way to do that by giving you a smart URL. So you use this drop down, and we give you a URL to use. And you use this everywhere you're going to promote it. So on your Facebook uh, news feed, when you're creating a post, you want to use that URL. Uh, when you put it out in your email list, on your blog, your, your, you know, if you're going to tweet about it, use that smart URL because then somebody clicks on that link, we detect. If they're on a desktop, we bring them to, to Facebook and show them that tab. If they're on a mobile device, we show them a mobile-friendly version. So we can make it happen when you use that smart URL. Now, if you're – say you're not going to deploy it on Facebook, but you're only going to deploy it on your website, like I did with my Instagram app here, then I can uh, change how I want that smart URL to function. So I am – I use the same URL, but I have set it to only – to take mobile users to my website because that's where I want the Instagram app. This is where I have it. And so I've put the exact URL of the blog post where I have the Instagram app. So that means if I post it on Facebook, my smart URL, somebody clicks on that, they're going to come to my blog post where the Instagram app is. So we give you some power and some options there on where you want to take the user, um, particularly on a mobile device. All right, so these are the apps. We're going to dive into one in a second here, but uh, for now, let's take a look at the other areas. So here are my different plans. So I'm in a plan called MikeNurse.com, so I have a, uh, you know, a plan that uh, allows me to build multiple apps. And, you know, uh, one of the things to note is that you can deploy whatever your plan says. So if you bought a single app plan, you can deploy it, publish it to one um, Facebook page and also one website. So any app, any plan that you buy, a, a single app plan uh, is deployed to one Facebook page and one website. All right. Uh, I can create as many apps as I want here and test them. I can only publish it to one location. If I bought a five app plan, I can, again, create as many apps as I want here to test them all out, set them up, but I can only publish to five locations. And that five means five Facebook pages, uh, you know, and, and five domains, for one for each app. So that's a quick – so if I have more than one plan, I can switch plans here. So in this case, if I had Digital Hill, which is our parent digital agency, 
you know, I can see the apps that Digital Hill has. So that's the key area there. The add app is again where you come back to to if you want to add a new app, you just you can come over there, find which app it is and click the add button. All right? Up at the top is analytics, and I can view analytics uh, per account. So again, we were on the Digital Hill one. I'm going to switch back to Mike Gingrich. It's giving me overall analytics, total account analytics for Mike Gingrich, which means my total analytics for all of my different apps that I've created. All right. Then, if I want to see specific ones, like if I want to go to the Instagram one, I can click on that. And uh, analytics are specific to each app. So in this case, for Instagram. I have it only deployed on my website, all right? So the Facebook views are not showing any. That's the light blue. But the web views, you know, I'm showing 35 views there. And, um, you know, the microsite, that's for mobile users. When they were trying to access that, I have 10 views there. So uh, if they applied, I can see the other pieces, how many shares it's gotten, you know, how many likes it's gotten. Um, this is the social sharing that's done. Now let me just show you a different app. Like, let's go to the... photo contest one uh, you know, we'll just dive into that one quick just because you can see it so the Facebook one would show me again Facebook views uh, web views this is the traffic to that mobile views so you can tell where you're getting the most traffic for that app the shares the likes you'd be able to tell how many entries you have here um, entry views votes friend shares and this is where you would be able to export the, the data so all your entries um, all the voter data you know how many votes they got per entry and um, export the images if it's a you know photo contest or you can delete manage entry so all of that is in the analytics area now this was a brand uh, new contest for me so there's not really any data to you know take a look at in there but uh, let me see if there is another one that I want to look at oh, I think I have a sweepstakes up here yeah let's go to the sweepstakes so again a sweepstakes is a little different than a photo contest I can see all the different views, and then um, I can take a look at the entries. This is the entry data, and this is a sweepstakes plus, so it involved also people uh, sharing that to their Facebook friend via a message. And uh, 173 were entries. It was shared 80 times by those entrants. Um, 12 of those shares were clicked on to bring people back to the sweepstakes itself for a grand total of uh, 265 there. And I can export the form data by clicking this link. And I can use the pick a winner tool in a sweepstakes app. So if I want to have, uh, if I announce that there are going to be you know, two winners, I could easily do that there and run through the pick a winner tool. So that's the analytics area. It gives you a lot of uh, power and options. And then the plans area is where you can manage your plans. Again, so we were on the Mike Gingrich plan. Here was the Digital Hill plan. Um, this is where it's deployed to. So again, if I have a single app plan, I can deploy things to one Facebook page and one website. So I can change that information here. I can see what the plan level was. This is platinum, which is you know because that's what we called it in the old system, and so that carries over. If you had those plans in the past, if you had a platinum plan, gold plan, you maintain that. You maintain the pricing of that with a new system, and you maintain the features that you had with that, except that you get more. Okay, So we give you, because uh, we moved Pinterest and Instagram apps into the standard app offerings, so which weren't available at the gold plan level before. Uh, so new users don't have to worry about that. You get a single app plan. You get all those. Uh, those legacy users who maybe had gold, you get the same price, uh, but you get uh, more features. Here's where you can change your plan level. You can upgrade or downgrade as you need to. We prorate everything. All right. So if you bought a five app plan monthly and you wanted to move up to the five app plan yearly, okay, we prorate that for you so that uh, if there's $50 of credit left for that month and you buy the five app plan yearly upgrade, we take that $50 off. So you don't have to worry about that. You can downgrade to free plan here as well. So we want to give you those options to control your account. Um, and you can even transfer it. So this is a transfer option. If you want to transfer this plan, you're now leaving a company, moving on to a different company. You want to transfer ownership of that, all that content of those apps to someone that was staying with the company. You can go through that transfer process. 
Uh, or it starts with an email address, you enter in theirs, it goes out to them, you can, you're alerted, they clicked on that, you would have to do a verification after they accept it to say, yes, this is the person, yes, I'm okay to transfer that. That's in the plans area, and the other item I want to mention there is the gear icon for each. In the gear icon, uh, you can customize the name. So if you have uh, multiple plans, and for a lot of clients, you want to get a little bit more detailed, you can change the name of that. Uh, if you want to track and have Google Analytics access, you can enter the Google Analytics UA code to get uh, the traffic stats to your uh, apps, particularly on if you have them deployed on Facebook. And uh, then we give you a website microsite URL. So this is a landing tab. Uh, so basically, with a plan, you and this typically works with the mobile devices, and that uh, Facebook obviously won't show you on a mobile device the app. So we take them to this website um, microsite page, and you know you're specifying what your URL is there. By default, we just pull in uh, what your uh, you know account name is, but you can customize that. All right, the other key areas are up in the, uh, there's the help section, okay? So if you need help, you can view the help desk or submit a ticket. Um, just to note that the help desk is smart so that if you're in any app, so you're setting up the Instagram app and you click the help inside the app, it will show you the Instagram instructions, all right? So if you're in the photo contest, inside setting it up and you click that help, you're going to get the photo contest instructions. So it's right there for you into the account area uh, you have your profile and this is where your name and you know email address things are you can set those you can connect or disconnect your Facebook account there and uh, with admins if you want to add a admin who can also access your apps that you've created for your company you can add them here um, if you want to give them payment access you can do that uh, so that's a process there and this is the partner area where if you sign up for our partner program where you can earn 20% recurring commission, this is the information area for that. And you'll be able to see your estimated earnings for each account, and you'll be able to see the transactions, when we paid you, those types of pieces there. So we give you all that access. Let's go back to Manager then. And um, let's see. I'm just going to delete one of these apps there because that was a demo, and let's uh, start over. So if I go over to the Add Apps and I want to add a new photo contest app, I can read in from me. Let me move this again. I want to read about the photo contest app. And yep, this is the one I want. I'm going to go add it. This brings me inside the contest manager. And this is where I'll be able to set up my app and uh, go through all the details for that app. So that's uh, the, you know, the quick process there of uh, setting up an app. So then when I dive in, this is my setup area for the app. Now again, I wanted to show you that help item. So I'm in the photo contest app, and if I select help, it will bring up the help area information, and I can uh, move that around so it's in a great spot for me, wherever I want. I can kind of resize that so that I can have the specific instructions right from the help desk right beside me and walk through that as I go through the app setup. All right. So this was the photo contest app and that's another video so uh, you can go to our YouTube channel at um, youtube.com slash Facebook tab site. There is a photo contest video that I walk through all the steps for that for you. So this is Mike giving you that uh, manager overview. Hopefully that's helpful. Take care. Have a great day.